Well, just a few weeks ago, a deal finally closed whereby Verizon Wireless sold about $200 million of its rural wireless properties to an upstart firm called Atlantic Telenetwork Incorporated, ATNI. ATNI's wireless subsidiary AWCC is headquartered here in Little Rock, Arkansas, and aims to pick up some of the floating former Alltel talent in the market. Joining us now is Frank O'Mara. He's the CEO of AWCC. Frank, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much, Robbie. Good to see you today. Well, let's talk about how this transition is going between AWCC and the former Alltel assets that were originally purchased by Verizon. They had to be divested. Give me an update about, um, about where things are at this juncture. Well, we're on schedule so far, and it's, it's, uh, we've got 306 days left in our transition services period with Verizon Wireless. So uh, with 306 days to go, we're on schedule. And what are some of the things you're doing? What are some of the things that will happen over this, this less than one year period? Well, the, the most amazing thing is when we consider how few people are doing so much work. Um, if we consider back to our days at the former Altel, we had thousands of people who were doing the same efforts that we're doing here with about 125 to date. And the thing we have to all remember is that even though we've only got a million customers versus, let's say, AT&T's 85 million customers, we still have to treat customers the same way. We still have to collect money from them. We still have to provide them a great service. We still have to um, give them numbers at work. So the process is no more easier because we're smaller. It's actually more difficult, and yet we're doing it with so many fewer people than we had previously. And what do you credit for that? Is it, is it just the knowledge that some of the folks you brought on board bring to this business, or is it something that you, you've really been struggling to keep your head above water? Well, I think if we're honest with each other, we're, we are struggling to keep our heads above water, although our heads are above water for the record. Um, I think the, the, what, what the thought that that provokes is one of how fortunate it was for our parent company, ATN, to have chosen Little Rock as its home base because without these talented, experienced people familiar with the assets and with the brand, I think the chances of pulling this off would have been very slim. Well, I don't think I have to tell you that with $200 million in wireless assets and under 1 million customers, you're not exactly a major player in the industry. What, what, do, you, what do you want to do to grow this network? What do you do to stay competitive in this space that you're in right now? Well, we don't feel like we're irrelevant in the space. And I'll tell you, most recently, we've had overtures from CTIA, which is the larger cellular telephone industry association, to join that organization. We've had overtures from rural cellular association to join that organization. So as the eighth largest um, wireless company in the country with, I think we've got about 600 million in revenue and a million customers, we don't feel irrelevant. And so it's, it's, um, it's, not a, it's not a struggle to get vendors to partner with us. It's not a struggle to get customers to stay on our network. So from that regard, it's, it's, we've been fortunate. Um, it has been a, a struggle to to work um, within the confines of, of the rules that we've been uh, allowed to work within with our relationship with Verizon Wireless, with our over, oversight from the Department of Justice, that part has been a little bit more difficult. Oh, but you're, you're coming out of that now because this transition period will be up. Let's, um, let's shift gears. One of the things that was interesting to me in this Verizon deal is that you guys were able to hold on to the Alltel name and you were also able to hold on to the My Circle branding campaign. Why was that so important to you? Well, it's important because we're going to make a lot of changes to customers' experience with Alltel. Um, and if we can minimize those experiences, uh, those changes rather, then I think we have a better chance of retaining those customers. So if we don't have to highlight the fact that we are somebody new and somebody different, if we can say we are Alltel, we've been Alltel, and, and just uh, for the record, we're in business for 25 years now, with the longest running wireless brand in the country. Alltel opened in the Carolinas in 1985, and we're still there in the Carolinas in, 19, in 2010 as Alltel Wireless. So a lot of good, good news and a lot of good uh, experiences have been created over time with the Alltel brand. And remember also that we spend well, well over a billion dollars on promoting and establishing the Alltel brand. So why not take advantage of a brand that otherwise would have been put to sleep? spade or neutered as my friend and Bob Barker would say. And I guess I may just want to ask this maybe from a little more inside baseball perspective, but was, was that a difficult fight for you to achieve to be able to kind of keep that or was there some willingness on Verizon's part? 
Well, Verizon has largely been a good partner in, in this process. I mean, we've had our difficult moments with them. I'm sure they re report similarly about us. But they, they have been a good partner, and I think to them the Alltel brand was one that they were going to kill. And, um, and why not let um, a player have it and maintain that relationship with their customers in the field? Arkansans are unlikely to see AWCC as a retail presence here, but you will have a corporate presence. What are your expectations for growth? How are your efforts kind of coming along to set up shop here in Little Rock? Well, we've been very fortunate enough to have come across a great landlord, Hank Kelly with Flake and Kelly, who has allowed us to grow into this facility here in uh, 1001 Technology Drive in West Little Rock. And uh, we do plan over the course of the next uh, year to grow in terms of the space that we lease from Hank. And uh, we anticipate that we'll have about 75,000 square feet of leased office space. And we will have about 300, and 300 to 350 corporate employees here in Little Rock. He is Frank O'Mara, the CEO of wireless firm AWCC. We appreciate his time. Thank you for being with us, Frank. You're welcome, Robbie.